Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you're new to my channel, hi. Welcome, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you're back, welcome back. <laughs> Today I am here with another video in my series that is just my, my month in review series. These videos are where I take the chance to just share with you all my finished projects, which I feel like is especially helpful for projects that I don't necessarily want to do a full separate post review video on, but still want to give you guys a chance to look at them finished and see if it's something you want to add to your wish list. Um, and I also like to just take a couple minutes just to chat about uh, some goals I have for the upcoming month. Um, so this is for the month of October <laughs> and in the month of October, I had actually five completed diamond paintings, <laughs> five finishes. Now I feel like it's a little bit unfair to say as much because um, I came into the month of October with one kit that was very nearly done, like just a couple of sections away from being done. So. And then one of the other kits that I worked on was a little bit on the smaller side. So, but anyway, I still had five finishes for the month of October and they were all related to drills and chills. Some of them were related to the event, uh, the Festival of Witches, which was hosted by Lindsay at Emeralds and Fairy Lights. And so I was really excited to get to participate in both of those event events. And in the case of drills and chills, um, get to co-host with the amazing and lovely and sweet Jessica over at Tiny Worlds of Wonder. I put up <laughs> 24 videos in the month of October and you guys, I don't know about this whole like nearly every day of videos thing. We're gonna try to scale it back this upcoming month. It was a lot of videos, it was a lot of fun, but I think I might have overwhelmed myself just a tiny bit and maybe overwhelmed you guys a little bit too. Um, going into the month of November, I just have one whip or work in progress, which I'll also be showing you tonight. Other exciting things that happened in October, I got to wrap up Drills and Chills. Today is November 1st that I'm filming this, and um, the event officially wrapped yesterday on Halloween at 11.59 p.m. Pacific time. Um, and it is so exhilarating and so bittersweet. I just yesterday put up a, well, you know, a couple of days ago for you guys when you see this, um, my big just wrap up video for chills and chills. So um, you will probably have a little bit of deja vu if you've watched that video because I'm gonna be sharing those kits again with you, but maybe going into just a little bit more detail. We'll see. <laughs> also something, this is totally, totally silly, but it just made me chuckle so much. Um, I, one of my thumbnails from one of my YouTube videos got made into a meme and posted in the Diamond Art Club VIP Facebook group and just absolutely cracked me up. So I'll insert it here just because I need you to chuckle with me. <laughs> um, I will never watch Squid Games because I am super squeamish and don't do well with like intense, suspenseful things like that show, but I still thought this was funny. So <laughs> let me get into showing you the projects that I worked on this past month. So first, this first project that I completed during the month, this is the one that I had started and nearly finished during the month of September. So this is The Dragon's Door from Diamond Art Club. It's licensed from the artist Raven Phelan. And you guys, if you saw my Drills and Chills wrap up video, you heard me gush about how amazing, amazing this kit was to work on. Um, I, I continue to feel this way even a month after completing it, that this easily has made it into like the top two or three I don't know if I'd call it the top or not, but it's up there. It's one of my very, very favorite completed diamond paintings that I've ever, ever done. I'm in love with it. I think Diamond Art Club knocked this piece out of the park. The rendering is perfection. I literally sent um, like just a picture of the dragon to them <laughs> after I had finished it. I just sent a picture over to them and I was like, this kit and this rendering was perfection. You guys, 
killed it. I just, I absolutely love it. I have seen a lot of people asking, when is this going to be restocked? And unfortunately, I don't have an answer for you, but I will suggest, um, because I'll link to this and all of my other projects that I talk about today, in the description below, I'll link to the listings on the website, and I would suggest going to that link and signing up for restock alerts, email restock alerts for this kit. And I hope that we'll be seeing it come back soon, fingers crossed. This was a bit on the bigger side. This was uh, 70 by 99 centimeters. It had square drills and 43 colors, which is really not bad given a kit this size. If I, here, I'll give you a look at the top here. This was lots and lots and lots of color blocking. You can see all these gorgeous grays and browns, which while normally that is about the opposite of my personal aesthetic in terms of color palette, um, the way that this came together, even like just look at the shading and the glow on this uh, doorknob or knocker here. Um, it's like mind blowing to me. It's so pretty and they nailed it with these colors. So even while this would normally not be the kinds of colors that I would enjoy working on, um, I loved every single second of working on this kit. Seriously, seriously, it was so good. Um, it had all of the usual things that make Diamond Art Club kits really fantastic quality. The canvas was great material. The drill field was really clear. The symbols were easy to read. The drill quality is, was good, but I think that this was probably one of their older kits in terms of, um, I think these were some of the older drills. So the three tens, the black drills, did have some trash but I had so much left over. It just involved a little bit of picking around the trash and it wasn't as bad as some of the other like three tens that I've seen. But yeah, I think this, this definitely had like the older drills. I could go on and on about this kit all day. I think that the effect of the space behind the door is amazing. There's perfectly placed AB and charted AB drills, like these white sparkles. Um, the dragon's wings have these glorious orange ABs, and I feel like it just makes the dragon glow. I am obsessed with this kit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I just, I can't get over it. And I swear I am not using, I'm not being hyperbolic at all. I am obsessed with this kit. I'm so sad that it's over. <laughs> but anyway, this was uh, my first finish of the month and I think my third finish for Drills and Chills. So let me shift this off to the side. I will show you the next project that I worked on. I know, rolling drills side in just for sake of speed. Just do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> the next kit that I worked on and completed, this is Scars of a Mermaid. This is from Treasure Studios Art. It is 55 by 70 centimeters, has 40 colors, and is licensed from the artist. Um, I almost said the wrong artist. It's licensed from Nistique Arts. And I really, really love the original artwork in this one. And I was so curious to try out Treasure Studios Art again. Um, as I mentioned in, I, I did do a full separate post review for this particular kit. Um, which I'll be sure to link below if you'd like to see me go into lots and lots of detail. Um, but I, I hadn't had the chance to try out a kit from TSA since about a year ago. And I was curious to see like, okay, I want to see if, you know, what kinds of changes they may have made. I know that they changed the size of the round drills that they're using. And, you know, this was part of the Halloween collection and they were offering a sale on these because they were one of our sponsors for Drills and Chills. And I wanted to show them some support and thanks for that. And um, also just get to share with you guys what, what they're doing over there. So <laughs> I really loved a lot about this kit. I thought that the change to these round drills, their change in drill manufacturer was completely the right call. The drill quality was amazing. Um, I thought that they had some really, really nice rendering choices. You guys know that's the biggest thing that I'm a stickler for, or at least it's the biggest, it's the thing that matters the most to me when it comes to diamond paintings. The rendering is just, that's the thing I tend to care the most about. But I thought that like they did some nice outlining of her arms and even around her hat and like here on her shoulders. 
Um, and I thought that like the netting in her tail was really pretty. I thought the effect of the colors was nice. And then it was really clear what we're looking at. Um, I would have been curious to see them have a little bit more clarity. For example, I feel like there are elements in her face, like her lips and nose, I feel like because of the colors that they chose that they kind of get lost in her face. And while the colors in her fin, the fin of her tail here, while those colors are so gorgeous, um, I'm in love with all the pastels that they used. I also, again, just would have liked to see them maybe just clean it up just a little bit, give us a little bit more detail and definition, but I, I definitely had a much better experience and was much happier with the finished result on this one um, than I was on the first kit I had worked for from <laughs> worked on from them last year. Um, but yeah, I, I am really curious to maybe try another kit from them, uh, maybe in square drills. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, maybe even from this same artist again, because I was really happy with this and how this turned out. So that was finish number two for the month. Next up, I have this little guy, which I am going to be doing a full post review for, for you guys that has not gone up just yet, unless I put my videos up in a weird order this week, which could happen, who knows? Anyway, this is called Time to Witch. This is from a relatively new company to the diamond painting community called Oraloa. Um, and it's licensed from the artist Vayonet. This is 30 by 40 centimeters, so on the smaller side, but has 35 colors. <laughs> there was quite a bit of confetti, especially on the sides, and then a good amount of color blocking in the middle. I chose to get this one in square drills or with square drills, and I have mixed feelings about that decision for myself personally. Um, these square drills were acrylic drills, and some of the lighter colors, which I will actually show you like in a tray um, in the post review video separately, some of the lighter colors had these little tabs sticking off the side. And that was, that just made for kind of a frustrating experience because these fit, these drills fit very snugly together. And if I would have placed drills that had the tabs sticking off the side, then they would have pushed against each other, not let them sit like flush right up next to each other, and then the drills would pop. So that was a little bit frustrating. I had to do a lot of picking around trash because they're, especially in, like I said, I think like the lighter blues and, you know, yeah, some of these lighter colors, um, there were just so many of those drills. And I think that that is common with acrylic drills. Now I wanna make sure that I mention, I have spoken with Oraloa since completing this kit. I reached out to them and asked and said, I've heard a rumor that you are planning to switch or have switched over to resin drills for your square drills. And they had responded and said, yes, we are in the process of making that transition over to resin drills. Um, and they actually, after I'd shared just some of my general feedback with them about working on this piece, they had said, if you're interested, we'd be happy to send you um, a, another kit so that you can see what they look like with, what our kits look like with some of those changes, which I would be interested to do. But let me talk about some of the other things I still really, really enjoyed about this particular kit. So I thought that um, the colors were, you know, really dreamy and relatively true to the original artwork. Um, I love the ABs in this kit. So Oraloa tends to just put lots and lots and lots of ABs in their diamond painting kits. And this one was no exception. I think that probably a third of the drills in this kit on the canvas are ABs. In particular, look at that white AB in the moon. Oh my goodness. The entire moon is that white AB and I think it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Then we have some ABs, a couple of different colors of ABs here in the bulbs of these um, trees or plants that are going up the side. And then just a little bit of AB kind of weaves its way around the edges so uh, and then there's like just a couple of red and pink ab's in here now when i ordered the kit and i think this was an issue that a couple of other people ran into as well one of these colors that's in the cat's nose they didn't actually send ab drills they just sent a regular red drill 
even though it was listed as being an AB, but I just pulled some ABs from my stash. I think I needed four <laughs> and put those in myself. Um, but they're aware of that. I'm hoping they're gonna have fixed that going forward. Um, as far as rendering goes, the one thing that I wasn't too sure about is I felt like there were, because of some of their color choices, I feel like we lost some of the elements in translation. So you can't see the cat's mouth or whiskers very well, like at all. <laughs> and it's, a, it is faint in the original artwork, but you can still see it. Um, but overall though, I think this was really, really cute. <laughs> it worked up kind of quickly, but it also took me a little while just because of picking around all of the trash drills. And there was a good amount of confetti on the sides, but this was really fun to work on. I'm glad I got to try out a new company. Stay tuned for the full post review if you wanna see me go into all kinds of detail on this one. Next up, this kit, I, I got to see lots of people working on for drills and chills and just for the fall or the autumn and the Halloween season. This is Warm Witch from Diamond Art Club. It is, I can't see the size, I taped over it. Um, 50 something by 70 something centimeters, 56 by 74 centimeters. It has 41 colors and has round drills and is licensed from the artist Ivy Dolamore. This, you know, even though I saw lots of people working on it, I already knew that like as soon as I purchased this kit, um, I fell in love with it immediately and uh, was like, I'm absolutely going to work on this this year for Drills and Chills and for the Halloween season. And it also worked for the Festival of Witches event. I thought the rendering was so, so, so good. I even saw some colors in here that I don't know that I've seen Diamond Art Club use before. I really love the muted greens that they used in the leaves. Also, can we talk about the level of sparkle in these round drills? Oh my gosh, <laughs> I love it. Um, I love the effect and the shading just in so much about this piece. And I love how well they took just really tiny, areas and conveyed a lot of detail um everything from like the books that are on the bookshelf to the left to the just the details here along the bottom it felt like the more that i worked on this the more that i was noticing and discovering um she has this ab like ankle anklet ankle bracelet here that's really pretty i like this check blanket that she's got she just she's gorgeous she's absolutely gorgeous and of course my favorite element I think is our little black kitty friend over here. <laughs> so, so, so cute. Um, everything about this kit was again, really up to the usual Diamond Art Club standards. The canvas was great. The glue, the drill field, the drill quality, all the things were fantastic. I felt like there were a couple of colors that I was afraid I was gonna run out of, but then I had at least a couple of dozen left or, you know, afterward, but I just, it felt like maybe they were pinching it a little bit more than I'm used to seeing. Overall though, this kit worked up super quick, especially because these windows had tons of color blocking and I went ahead and took the um, risk of multi-placing, which I call it a risk because when you multi-place light colors in particular, it's usually really obvious that you've multi-placed because it's hard to place them really perfectly. And for whatever reason, flaws or like just tiniest imperfect the tiniest imperfections show up so much better with light colors than dark but i was just on a roll i had lots of momentum i was like i'm gonna knock this out i think i can fit one more kit in before the end of drills and chills before the end of october and i did <laughs> i did uh for my fifth and final finish of the month and this was my seventh finish for drills and chills this is Christie's kitty. Super, super cute. Here, I'll turn it sideways so you can actually see like the whole thing in frame. Flip your flip your phone or flip your screen. Um, this kit, this was honestly, this was not on my radar initially. And then my friend Jacqueline, my very good friend Jacqueline, who is Diamond Art Sparkles over on Instagram. She was working on this kit and we were chatting one day and she um, held this up and showed me. She's like, I just finished this. Look at this. And I looked at it. I was like, oh my gosh, that is so, so, so pretty. Um, I love the blue highlights in her hair. They're so, so gorgeous. <laughs> I love the ABs that are all in her headband, which by the way, the headband is almost giving me like miraculous ladybug vibes between that and the black hair. Um, if you've seen that show, you know, <laughs> I 
love how rich these colors are in these pumpkins. There's these orange bees in them that are so, 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 so pretty, so pretty. Um, this cat, oh my gosh, so adorable. Look at the line of green ABs in its eyes and its little bandana. Um, the sweater that she's wearing, I initially was like, do I have these colors right? Like what's with the gray and the blue? But no, that's, that's correct. Okay, here's the one thing that I, that almost made me not get this kit. And I'm so sorry. Like this is not intended to be a slight to Hannah Lynn or to Diamond Art Club or anything like that. But like the tiny hand here, I, it just, it's distracting to me because it looks like it's been scaled wrong and I'm sure it was an artistic choice, but it was, it's just one of those things that was distracting to me. So I pretend like I don't see it. <laughs> and it still is an adorable picture overall. Look at her amazing purple eyeshadow. Um, is she a child of the 90s? Did anyone else wear purple eyeshadow in the 90s? Her eyes glow. She has a line of ABs in the middle of her eyes, just like the cat does. And again, the blue highlights in her hair. So, so, so pretty. So Jacqueline, thanks for enabling me on this one. Um, Hannah Lynn is not, her art style is really pretty and really cute. It's just not normally something I would choose to diamond paint, but I was totally sold on this one. This is the first Hannah Lynn I've done. Maybe not the last, we'll see. Uh, but this one was 51 by 71 centimeters, round drills, 52 colors. But there were good chunks of color blocking. You can see the skin tones in her face, here, her hair. Oh my gosh, there were like seven bags of 310. <laughs> I had a whole unopened bag left over, which was, you know, nice. I just have endless 310 in my spare drill storage at this point. But I thought this was just a really nice way to sort of wrap up drills and chills and the, um, the spooky season and I was, it was just fun to get to fit this one in um, and to stretch myself maybe a little outside of my comfort zone. And yeah, so glad that I could finish this one as my seventh finish for Drills and Chills and my fifth finish for the month of October. Now, going into the month of November, I am pulling back out, oops, I am pulling back out, back out a kit that I have not touched since the end of September. Um, this is, this is Letting Go. This is from Distracted by Diamonds and is licensed from the artist Puffy Gator. I started this kit, I, I misspoke just a moment ago. I said something about the end of September, no. I started this kit at the end of August and initially had thought I might be able to finish it before Drills and Chills started on September 1st. I did not, that was fine, I decided to just put this one up and if I really, really felt the need or was in the mood to work on it, I would pull it out, but I just really got on a roll with all my drills and gels kits. So this one has sat untouched for two full months, which is not my usual MO, but it's fine. So I actually pulled this one out after I finished Christie's Kitty um, just a couple of days ago. And I did get a couple, I think two and a half sections done three and a half sections done um, just before November 1st, before today. So it's this one is really confetti heavy, lots and lots of confetti. And uh, it's so pretty though. It has every shade of pink under the sun and look at how pretty it's coming out. Puffy Gator's artwork, I, I feel like has lots of these wispy feathery elements and um, like I worked on Halloween Kitty from Distracted by Diamonds for last year's Drills and Chills and loved how Distracted by Diamonds rendered it. Just like the feathered effect, the glowing effect, the color blending, they did a lovely, lovely job on. And so when I had seen my friend Laura, Anxiety Art Adventures, she unboxed this kit on her channel and once again, I'm enabled by my friends. Um, she unboxed it and I was like, those colors look like my happy place. That kit looks gorgeous. I'm going to go buy it. <laughs> and that's exactly what I did. So I'm blaming Laura for this one, but I just, the colors make me so happy. I will hopefully be wrapping this one up maybe here in the next week, we'll see. Um, but it's taking me a little bit of time between the confetti and I feel like, the symbols that they've chosen, the symbols that are being used. There's something about them that since it's a lot of letters and numbers and a lot of really similar colors, when I'm placing drills and when I'm when I'm diamond painting, it's almost like 
it, it's not like there's any symbols that are jumping out to me because my approach to diamond painting is that I'll open up a section and I will look and see, okay, which symbol is catching my eye? Um, and I'll pick that color and diamond paint that color because it's just easiest. It's what my eye is drawn to. I'm finding with this kit, it's a lot harder for me to find symbols that my eye is just automatically drawn to. For example, if you look in, look in this section here in the middle. So if you're looking at this, you'll probably immediately notice like, oh look, those ones with the white lettering on the dark back, darker background, those jump out to you. But look at like the bottom left part of the section and it's a lot of black letters and numbers on pink backgrounds. <laughs> I don't know what it is that I just have a little bit of trouble with that. I'm not blaming Distracted by Diamonds for that. I think it's a me problem. Um, but that just means that this kit is going a little bit slower for me than um, other kits might. But um, I'm enjoying the momentum of only working on one project at a time, and I will probably stick to that for this month. I don't know that I'm quite ready to start my next like epic scale project just yet. I kind of think I need a little bit of a breather after um, hosting Drills and Chills and having just really recently wrapped up my Josephine Wall comparison project and whatnot. Um, and so I guess we're kind of naturally transitioning into talking a little bit about the month of November and what I have in mind. And honestly, that the, the answer to that is that not a whole lot. I feel like I just, you, if you've seen any of my videos recently, you've probably heard me say as much. I really wanna keep November just feeling really open and hold it loosely. I want to feel the, <laughs> the freedom, like don't put me in a box. I don't do well with being told what to do for too long. Um, I just wanna be able to follow my nose. I just wanna be able to just pick whatever kit strikes my fancy at the time and not feel like I'm having to just stick with something that fits a particular theme. I love participating in events. I love being a part of hosting events. Please don't get me wrong. But you know, sometimes you need both in your life, right? Like breaks and structure or something. <laughs> so I don't exactly have any specific kits in mind for this month with the exception of I do know that I want to work on the kit Foxy Book Lover from Die Moon Shop um, just because I've been excited to work on that one for a long time and I'm looking to compare it to the one that my friend Jacqueline just did because um, we're looking to see kind of how the renderings compare because they've made some changes based on feedback. Um, YouTube wise, I'd like to ease back on my schedule a little bit. There were several weeks this past month that it felt like I was doing six videos a week, five or six videos a week. And that just feels like kind of a lot to me. So if I can, I'm gonna try to scale that back a little bit because last week I just did, I think three or four videos for the whole week. And it was nice to just feel like I had some of my evenings free to just kick back <laughs> and relax a little bit more. Um, I also want to tie up some loose ends. I have a couple of post reviews that I need to put up for you guys for those Josephine Wall kits and my kit down video for those Josephine Wall kits. I just want to get that all tied up neatly and be able to call that series completely done um, for you all. So look for those. And then finally, I, I feel like there are some companies out there that I really want to try out or work from kits on that I haven't had the chance to really work on in the past few months. And so I'm gonna be really looking at my Gems Flow app and seeing, okay, which companies do I wanna make sure I'm trying out so that I can share um, those post reviews with you guys so you can decide if there are shops you wanna try out as well. Anyway, that wraps up my month in review for the month of October, 2021. It was really fun to get to share these finished projects with you. Um, please let me know if you have any specific questions about any of them. I know I tried to keep it relatively brief because this is otherwise going to turn into a super long saga of a video but um i'd love to hear what october looked like for you what projects did you work on um, if you finished anything what did you finish and what was your favorite project of the month anyway my friends thank you so much for hanging out with me if you aren't already subscribed and want to see more diamond painting content from me please consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when i share new videos all right, my friends, have an absolutely wonderful day and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.